Happy Monday, guys. Happy end of January already. I It just started as far as I was concerned. Jeez. Um, welcome to the show. My name is Grindhead Jim. We're going to go through, as usual, pre-order stuff like that. Before we get into all that, I'm going to say hello to everybody in chat. I'm going to tell you what's been going on. So I see Johnny Sorensen, Bjorn Jorgensen, Billy Wifta, Bill Wifta, sir. I also see Ian Sweeney and Gojatron, Gojatron. Kieran Ball and Tim Hayes. Haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you, sir. Uh, Jason Garcia says it's grand time. Not wrong, sir. Not wrong. Uh, I also see he, 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 the Badger. I see no one. I see. He, 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 he. That's everybody. All right, cool. So, first off, some of you may have been confused by the thumbnail. The rumors of my uh, demise have been greatly exaggerated refers to me, not to Big Bad. There's no news about Big Bad Toy Store. There's nothing going on with them as far as I'm concerned. I even have a positive story to tell you about them. And yes, you're going to get some overpriced statues. Probably the most overpriced stuff you've ever seen in one show. Um, and Johnny Sorensen says, finally, the grindhead has come back to YouTube. I can't really do the rock, but there you go. Um, so what's been going on? Last week, I was not live for multiple reasons. The main one being that I was preparing for a um, for a conference for work. I was out all last week uh, doing that, but also those that budded at the tail end of a visit from Lauren, my partner. So basically getting her off to the, to the airport and everything and all the things we had to do that went along with that, um, that, and then I had to pack and I just, I just did not have time. Uh, Karen Ball just thought I'd been banned. Fair enough. 
Tim Hayes forgot I was ginger. Well, I'm ginger here. Up here is like a dark brown. It's a, it's a very common mistake. Do not worry. Do not worry. Do not worry. Do not worry. Uh, I say hello to Paula as well. So, um, Lauren was here. Great visit. She goes home. I go into downtown Dallas. They put us up in a hotel for, you know, three days. And uh, I'll put it this way. There were over 400 people there. Uh, the mask regulations weren't very strict, which it's good they're giving people choices. But uh, I, along with many others, during the conference contracted COVID. I tested positive on Friday, and I was feeling absolutely like a bag of smashed hammers. Um, Rolo and Lauren both can, can attest to that because I'm like, uh, yeah. Now, today... Um, Today was um, a lot better than the last two days have been, but they're, they're, the, the, the symptoms are still there. Um, but it's getting better. As you can tell, I probably don't sound all that sick to you. I hope that's the case. Um, <laughs> bosses, don't worry. We don't want you to prove you're a ginger. Yeah, I'm, I'm only ginger here. Nowhere else. Everywhere else is brown. All right, there you go. So... Um, I've been, I wasn't, I was basically, you know, with the work thing, it was like 11 to 16 hours a day. I'm not joking of planned stuff. Uh, I did have a good time. I did learn a little bit, um, but you know, it was a work thing and it took me away from a lot of stuff. So I get home ready to catch up. And next thing I know I'm sick and I was sick. So, um, uh, part of the reason I have on my table here, normally I'd have a toy there or something like that. Uh, no, I have flu medicine because I'm still taking it. I can hear and feel in my voice. It's still not quite up to snuff, uh, but that's okay. We'll we'll get through it. I also bought this handy dandy uh, pulse ox reader uh, at Rolo's behest. So most of you know he's a medical doctor by trade. Uh, so I've been keeping an eye on this and. Um, and I'm good. I mean, I'm well within range of what's supposed to happen. So I'm okay. So I'm not, I'm not short of breath. I'm not dealing with that stuff. Uh, my sense of smell and taste are there, although they are deadened by the symptoms. They're still there. Okay. So don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm okay. Um, Badger says, COVID walked into Jim's body, ready to make demands. His white blood cells closed like Spartans, kicked it down deep well. This is grindcore it's right that's right um absolutely so i definitely feel like i'm gonna be okay so i also want to call out that after today's stream largo slayer and wilhelm toy and hobby are doing a team up and they're doing an appreciation series for action force and it's really really cool and I can't wait to see it. It's going to be happening more or less right after this show. I'll be posting links for that later in the show when we're finishing up. So you guys know to head over there and make that happen. Uh, Jim Largo, for those of you who don't know, is doing his own channel now. In addition to his co-hosting duties over at Weird Fantastic Toy Adventures. So my boy's been busy. And the idea of him and Wilhelm teaming up on something is really, really cool. If I start to falter today, I also have a special guest in the background. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm going to try and go as long as I can, but if I start to, my brain starts to go wonky, I got someone I can bring up in a minute. So I'm going to catch up with chat and then we're going to hop right into the, to the, the toy stuff because there's a bunch of tabs up there I got to get through. And I think you guys are going to, you're going to get a kick out of it. Um, Largo likes the hat. Yeah, I wore this hat for a, a work party. They wanted us to come in Texas-themed stuff, which I thought was weird. And um, so I wore a Pantera shirt in this because I'm that, I'm that guy. I got a lot of compliments, especially from Swedes on the Pantera shirt because in Sweden, they love all forms of music equally. Um, special collector's edition night nurse, limited to only one million bottles. Yeah, here you go. Goji asked if I can still taste beer. As of last night, sort of. I had a blue moon just to see, you know? Um, and uh, it, it didn't, 
One, it didn't go down great because, hello, we shouldn't be drinking at all. I just want to see if I could taste it. And no, I couldn't. Could not. I'm hoping I can crap out the COVID too, Tim. I'm, I'm, get, I'm working on it, pal. I'm working on it. Seeing some positive comments on the Largo stuff. We'll, we'll talk more about that in a bit. Um, there you go. Bing Long is here, I see, apparently. Welcome, Bing Long. Good to see you. <laughs> and uh, Rich from Gaming Tech United says, Jim, with that sexy, sick voice. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, it'll be Largo's first live stream ever, so you're going to want to not miss that. Uh, Garcia says, it's not on Big Bad yet, but hiya teaser 2019 King Ghidra. Fucking hyped, bro. I'm hyped as well. Uh, Tim says, I don't think beer had much of a taste other than other other alcohol. Uh, no, beer has many flavors. Many, 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 many different flavors depending upon which they are. Uh, depending upon who you are, they're either great flavors or absolute crap. I'm a beer drinker. I like it just fine. <laughs> Thank you, Rich. I appreciate that, pal. Um, all right. So, now. Let's get into some stuff, because you guys like your overpriced stuff. Let's uh, let's get into some overpriced stuff, shall we? Let's do that, right? First off, I got this Game of Thrones Drogon limited edition statue. They spelled dragon wrong. I know, it's probably his name. $1,900. That's an expensive boy. Now, he's, you know, three feet by, you know... Almost a foot and a half by four foot. That's a big boy. But I don't know what he's $1,900 worth of big boy. But that's a big boy. That's crazy. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Oh, Tim, I've been drinking so much water. I put a five-gallon jug on there on Friday. Um, and I'm almost, it's almost empty. I've been drinking a lot of water. A lot of water. So let's see here. Dun, 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 Spoilers. Okay, I'm just kidding. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move forward here. Do, 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 do. All right. Also, we have a $1,500 one to one Batman Returns Penguin art mask. It's made of polyresin and silicon. Individually punched hair. They have 400 of these total ever made. Now, don't get me wrong. I think this is a great sculpture. It's cool. But I'm not sure that I know anyone who is this into that movie and this character to keep him around, except for maybe Tim Burton himself. So, um, you know, I, I don't I don't get it. Fifteen hundred bucks. Uh, fuck off. Now, they seem to be on a real big uh, Harryhausen kick lately. Um, they have this beast from 20,000 Fathoms, uh, Redosaurus. Now, there's a black and white version and a color version. They're the same price, um, 300 bucks. And it's just a statue. It's 12 inches made of vinyl. I, it's got some pretty incredible detail in it. It's really cool. Yeah, it's still a bit much for me. But for those of you into Harryhausen, it might be a thing. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm also getting into some things that are available now that you might not know exist. So we're going to talk about that a bit as well, too. So first thing up for grabs from Fex Tobby is this uh, 112 scale diorama set. It's a jail cell, basically. It's uh, basically seven and a quarter inches square, uh, in, in essence. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can get additional cells, put them together. Um, some pretty cool stuff in there. And they have some like mock posters and stuff you can put in. This is neat for 50 bucks. I, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's, um, maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But uh, that's up to you. And as far as like my voice and everything, um, I haven't been speaking much today. I'm also 40 minutes away from needing to take another dose of medication. So the medication's starting to bear off a bit and whatnot. But I find that speaking, getting the blood flowing is always a good thing. So do not worry, folks. But uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. 
We're getting you right back to high price stuff because it's available now. A Soul Calibur II Ivy. Um, always an interesting character to face off against. Has nothing to do with her boobs. Nothing at all. Or her butt. But for 580 bucks, you can get her at 11 inches tall if that's your thing. I know one member of the channel will be into that. And Castlevania Symphony of the Night. 580 bucks for a 22 inch statue of him of death. I don't, I don't know. I, I know one person to buy some of this stuff and I don't know. Nerd Zoic uh, has a lot of action force stuff in here. I don't want to bury the lead. Action force stuff is getting kind of lean if you didn't pre order it, but if you want some troop builders, they definitely have you taken care of between Steel Brigade, a Swarm Trooper, Delta Trooper, and Special Ops and Female. Um, some older figures as well as like the new gear sets, things like that. They have lots of troop builder stuff here. Um, so if you're looking for something, this would be a good place to start. I also want to call out one of my favorite things about Nerdzoic is that you can pay in four payments directly through the shop pay system. Um, very, very, very convenient. So if you are looking at troop build and you don't want to spend a bunch of money, you could do it that way. And he has quite a bit of stuff in stock. So check out Nerdzoic first chance you get. One of my favorites, to be sure. Let me catch up on chat here. Uh, chat says, finally, boobs. Use the plastic pa <laughs> basket of strawberries came in, right? Shawshank Raquel Wolf's poster. Yep, 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 yep. Absolutely. I know it is soft final. Um, hubba hubba, hey, hey, hey. Nice firm butt on her, though. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Ted is here. Ted, I hope you can hang out because I have an unboxing of the thing you sent me. I know what it is, but I'm sure chat would love to see it. Aha, you guys didn't know you're getting an unboxing today. Um, Badger says four horsemen put out a nice death figure for 60 bucks. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, Rich says action force so fucking dope. Don't collect military stuff, but man, they have some great pieces. They sure do. I have a bunch. Um, Giraffe is here saying hello, fellow grinders. And Tim Macy's female is species more deadly than male. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So I want to call this out. This uh, real Ghostbusters classic retro four set of four. Uh, notice the price. It's $30 for all four mint on card. Okay. Um, and I, I, I pre-ordered it. They came in. They're shipping like tomorrow. And um, they sell them individually for about 15, 17 bucks a pop, which isn't horrible. But to get all four of them for 30 bucks, you kidding me? Like this is... Like, that's a deal and a half. If you're even remotely interested in, in the Ghostbusters figures, like, this is the deal to get. Because if you just want the Ghostbusters, you can get those 30 bucks out the door. $7.50 a piece. And you get them all, including the ghosts, the whole thing. You're not losing anything at all. And also, my Slimer came in. So now, I've got Ecto-1. I've got Stay Puffed, Slimer, and all four of the Ghostbusters. There's a couple more things in the collection that I might pick up over time, um, but I'm really happy with just having those. Like that's like the like the course, the must have. But I wanted to call it out to you guys. So if it's something you're into, even passively, if you just kind of want them, uh, it'd be worth grabbing them at this price. Even if you might resell them later for like forty bucks at ten bucks a figure, you know, make a couple bucks on it without gouging anybody because it's still less than retail. Um, and I know I've said talked about these before, but the reason I keep bringing them up is that by the time my parents let me get them, they had moved on to like the fright feature stuff, and I always hated the fright feature Ghostbusters. I never, I've never had the original costumes, and although I like some of the updates that Hasbro's done with the figures, like the movie accurate ones and whatnot, I, I gotta have these old cartoon ones. Gotta do it. I love them. So if you're into it. That's a great price for them. So, uh, Wilhelm saying that's a deal. Um, Bustin makes Wilhelm feel good. And, and Jason says that means two things. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Bustin. Like those toys as a kid. I did not surprise. You had, you had Egon. There you go. There you go. Uh, getting into some other things we've talked about before. Apex Legends is putting out some six inch, six inch stuff. You don't have to play the video game, these are kind of cool looking figures. 22 bucks, it's about average. You're not getting a lot of accessories. But what I find interesting is that you take a set of three and it goes to $73 as opposed to the 66 it should be for the three of them. 
for the for the two. But you can't get these other two individually. So I don't know why the price difference is on these. These could be cool mix and match for classifieds or action force or whatever you want. Um, but I just want to call that out. You might want to wait, you know, and just get the individual ones, see if they go on clearance somewhere else. But I wanted to bring them up. Um, Transformers Legacy Deluxe. Uh, they're, they, they've got the Wave 1 back in stock. I don't know how, uh, but if you missed out on these, you can get them. Um, does include Kickback and a version of RC. You find her. Are they saying that's RC? No. Yeah, I guess they say that's RC. Eh, weird. Not for me, but... Um, want to call it out the Hyatt toys kong is is finally come in stock so if you do six inch gojira this is pretty darn good a bit pricey but Hyatt toys does that they also have the goji the actual i was also gojatron the gojira the godzilla uh same price point not horrible um they're that nice middle ground if the playmate stuff is too simple for you and the SH Monster Art stuff is too expensive. This is right nice in the middle. Um, and I've been mixing in high price stuff because I know what you guys like. So we got a Master of the Universe Power Sword. Uh, it's a prop. It's, it's a one-to-one -one for 650 bucks. If you want the power, it'll cost you 650 bucks. Also, for those that might need it, Black Series Boba Fett. This one is Return of the Jedi card. Otherwise relatively indistinguishable from the empire strikes back release except that he is also on this card back here uh in stock so don't pay secondhand prices for the other one if you need one um but th there's your boy right there if you need him um uh, bum, 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 uh, giraffe says anyone know offhand how well the world goes most can retro x01 holds the figures um I had the original Ecto-1 and the second wave figures, and they fit fine. Uh, and they were in the same scale as the original, so I can attest they fit pretty damn good. Uh, I ha have not had a chance to open Ecto-1. I don't have the figures yet. But as long as the scale is, is the same as it was back in the day, I can confirm they fit pretty well. They fit pretty well. Are the Godzilla figures articulated? Yes. Largo asks, what Transformers line I'm collecting? The smaller ones? Uh, core. Core class. Core class. Core class. Ben Stutley's here. Hey, what's up, mate? Good to see you. Predacong Kong is cooler, more affordable. Aww. Hmm. Thank you for that. No one says, wish they do a filmation power sword. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. I had toys making a Gojitron action figure. Yeah, I wish. That'd be cool. Um, all right. <laughs> Predacong Kong cleans up the dishes by smashing them. ha <laughs> True story, true story. All right, so that's your Boba Fett. Now, for those of you that collect smaller scale, five inch, Boss Fight put out some uh, Flash Gordon stuff. Now, I know some of you really like Flash Gordon, but don't do the five inch, but I have to show these off. These are kind of cool. Um, price is a bit wonky, but you get a lot for your money. You get two heads, some weapons, and so forth. Very reminiscent of the filmation. Um, cartoon as well as the original comic strip and in the same vein you've got the phantom who similarly comes with a bunch of weapons and working holsters looking pretty badass if i do say so myself and then finally you've got ming um this is very much inspired of course by both the cartoon in terms of the overall physical design the coloring's different this is certainly the comic strip color uh, version, but uh, looking pretty cool. Five inch, looking pretty cool. I have not seen the new Manglors. Digging the Flash, go Flash, go. These are coming soon, superpower style. Yes, but they're in stock right now. So that's why I wanted to bring this up. So you got all three of these are in stock at Big Bad right now. Right now. So if you want them, you can get them. No wait. I know some of you collect NECA stands, 10 pack, 10 bucks, not bad. Want to throw it out there? Thought you guys might be into it. Throw, throw it up there. Also, this is a reissued version of a formerly exclusive Moon Knight 
from Marvel Legends. I got myself one um, because that's my preferred design for Moon Knight. Paint Deco, I would have preferred something a little less, well, black and white, but with the character design, what are you going to do? Um, but he's in stock. So if you if you missed out on the first time around, now you can get him. Uh, I just want to make sure that we were getting that for you. So I'll take a second to check in with you guys. Largo says, "Will those work as superpowers? More than likely, yes. Um, they would probably scale just fine. Um, and if Bill Wiftus says it, I believe him. It's two of the defenders of the Earth, exactly. Plus a baddie. That's right. It's a very nice phantom." Yeah, yeah. Same style and size, so there you go. And they're going to feature on your show. Perfect. Can't wait to see him, man. Flash. Ah. And he's here listening on working on taxes. All right. Well, I hope your taxes go well. If you do extra well, if you get more than you thought you were going to get back on your taxes, I want 2%. <sighs> oh, my God. Don't you mean our taxes? Marital Strife and Grindhead Jim Toy Grinds Live. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm sure she meant your taxes. Plural. Yeah, Ozzy. Um, apparently, when I say I'm going to be taking a week off during the show, and a lot of people weren't there for the show, and didn't rewatch the show, or didn't watch the whole show, and then I announced that I'm not having a show last week, Combined with the fact that I've been very quiet between work obligations and being sick, people start to wonder if I'm okay. So I wanted to be clear. So, yes. Y'all whisper. Uh, that is comic accurate for uh, Moon Knight. I wouldn't say it's first appearance in terms of the design, um, but it's it's very reminiscent of like the 90s uh, design from my perspective. It's very good. I like that figure a lot, uh, Stephen. And welcome to the show. Badger says, Good news. Make more money with my new job. Bad news. I'm now just over the line for a new tax bracket. Yay. Yeah, that's always fun, isn't it? Speaking of fun, you too can have fun with this Studio Series 86 Sludge that's in stock. So if you're looking for that particular one, look you no know further. You can get them right here. Um, I, I recently made a decision that I'm not collecting. So I'm treating Core Class and Voyager Class the same way that I treat origins versus master verse and motu so with origins i want everything just all the retail complete stuff and master verse i just want a handful of figures that i want same thing with vintage collection star wars versus black series um curating a lot so um i have decided that of my essential Voyager class, Dinobots are not essential since they are releasing the Dinobots in the core, core class. So um, not going to go super nuts with these. But I know that the, the, the Dinobots are some of the most sought after, so I wanted to call it out. Speaking of Motu, though, Roton, still in stock for 35 bucks over at Big Bad. So you know it's from a reliable place. It's going to ship it and not crush it. So if you're a Motu Origins fan and you missed out on the Roton, you can get them right there. You can get them right there. Does that sludge play acid bath? Bad joke. Ah, ha, ha. I don't know if he actually... Oh, acid bath. I get it. Yay. Yes, yes. And I don't know if I'm eternal, but uh, I try. In stock also, you can get a RoboForce 2-pack from Big Bad at retail. And if you want to know more about these figures, go over to Largo's Lair. Yeah, I'm subscribed to Largo's Lair. You're wrong. You're very, very wrong. Not to be outdone, I have more, more expensive shit for you. More expensive shit. Dinobots say you big bozo. Yeah, I get it. This is a one-to-one -one wearable Stormtrooper helmet for $450. Um, it's kind of crazy. He says, not suitable for children, does not offer protection. I mean, you can't wear this in battle, which I totally get. I understand. Now, for 450 bucks, I'd be impressed if it had the, the voice box in it. That'd be the thing. If it had the voice box in it, might be worth it. But I know some, some 501st folks would probably teach you how to build one for a lot less money than this. That's for sure. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. 
<laughs> and uh, he mans up the only guy with a sword out there. Skeletor has a $650 one to one uh, sword as well. Um, and it apparently comes with other stuff, which I did not know. Has this little collector's box. It looks like, oh, okay, so it has a shield thing you put on the wall. You can hang it. That's kind of cool. I mean, for $650, I, I, I feel like someone should cut, walk in and polish the sword every every day. But, you know, can't get everything you want. All right, now I know there's some of you that are going to be really excited about this stuff. A Jesse, Josie and the Pussycats five-point articulation box set from Mesco. For 55 bucks, reasonable price, and you get everything you see here. So I know some of you guys are heavy into your Hanna Barbera stuff. This is pretty cool. Um, I love how they have alternate legs instead of just articulating the legs. Um, five points. So, da, 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 da. so you have bent arms and bent legs for, for, for all three. Uh, again, I, I feel like the tooling would have been cheaper to just make the arms bend, but because it's five points, they can't do that. It's weird, but it's nice to have the inclusion nonetheless. Um, pretty cool stuff, to say the least. Um, you got the full diorama, and um, if, if you're a fan, this is a pretty kick-ass set, personally. Um, no one says, these I've been to. Fair enough. <coughs> I mean, yeah, the power swords could unlock the Secrets of Grayskull for those prices. I would hope so. Boba Hicks is here, crossing the swords. Appreciate you, brother. Roman Cobra says, I am no longer wrong. Just subscribe to Largo's Lair. Good man, good man. Kieran Ball says, Polish your sword. Isn't that kinky talk? It is. Thank you for asking. Ruining all my jokes. By the power of overprice. Nice. Gojatron says, I wouldn't mind getting that. I see. I knew you'd be one of the people that might be like, hmm. Hmm. Because that's right in your real house. You know, time, time frame and everything. George, big Hanna Barrera fan. God, the S words for 450. <laughs> nice set, not for you. Fair. It's not for me either. I'm not a big fan. Um, I have no idea, Stephen, if the Stormtrooper helmet comes with realistic impaired vision eye holes, but I would be willing to bet yes. Be willing to bet yes. Giraffe says here, kitty, kitty. Wilhelm would get there with their 118th. Um, they are 118th. 3.75 inches tall. So now you got to get them. I don't make the rules. You said you'd get them if they were 118th. They are. Go buy them. <laughs> so, Movar says, you sound terrible. Thank you. I'm glad someone said that I don't sound great. I appreciate that. It takes a chode to come in here and say, yeah, you don't sound great. Um, considering I'm on, you know, I'm, I'm three days into COVID, I'll take it. Where's that little evil cat Sebastian? I don't fucking know. Um, it's good to see a little drum set with him. Sure, sure, sure. Let me know if they do Jabberjaw. I will. I will. Get to it! All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Melvor. All right. Do, 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 do. I, look, when, I'm, when I skip a show, I think I got to cram as much overpriced crap as I need to. So, this is a one-quarter scale Darth Vader on the throne statue for a thousand bucks. He's 18.9 inches tall, sitting down. So, you know, I mean, he's just sitting there judging you. But, again, for a thousand bucks, I mean, if you're just going to look at his fucking taint all day if that's what you're into i don't get it myself i'm gonna move on i don't think i'm showing that goji i apologize sir um but this is something i was interested in until i saw the price it's a six inch art of red and stimpy coming out of a tv it's nothing crazy but it's $75. Fuck you. Like, there's no way, dude. Like, that's not happening. 
I, I want Ren and Stimpy. I want Diamond Select to get a hold of that property and do them in the same scale as the Muppets. Like, I want everything as cartoon to be done in that scale by Diamond Select. Now, I do I stay away from the BST AXN figures most of the time. However, for this price and the size, this is an Android Krang that looks way better than even the Playmates one did. And I really kind of love him. He's eight inches tall. And he's got attachments for like the different weapons and stuff. It's pretty badass. It really is. Um, and I'm, I'm willing to take the risk on this particular figure. That's all there is to it. So... I want to give a big, big thanks to Johnny Sorensen for pointing this out to me. I probably would have missed this otherwise. Um, but if you're into it, that, that'd be a good crang for you. World Minute Cardboard says, looks like Vader has a very ornate toilet. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. And Kieran Ball also said he's on a toilet. There you go. Well, Rich, I appreciate your offer, but no. I'm not going to have you sit in my house and polish my sword. Thank you, though. For a thousand dollars, even make a throne I can sit in. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> well, I find your lack of money disturbing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ready to dip you on SSNES? One of the hardest games. Oh yeah, it is hard. Bad programming. Small knees were you in terms of standing? I agree. He's, he's yeah. BST AXN not known for their high quality at all, for sure. But you, but Goji had said Shogun Rodan. Well, let's let's look him up. Shogun Rodan. Let's see if we can find him. Here he is. Bum 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 bum. bum. So this is based on the original standalone film, if I'm not mistaken. Seven inch wingspan on this big boy. It's looking pretty dope. Looking pretty dope. I like big kaiju, and I cannot lie. All right. Now, no one needs to buy this, what I'm about to show. This is a Mar Diamond Select Modoc who just kind of sits there. It's a figure diorama. He just kind of sits there. Um, you can get the Marvel Legends Modoc, which is arguably superior to this. For half the price, routinely or less. Keep an eye on it. So if you see this, remember, Marvel Legends did one. Looks better. It's modular. And you can get it, like I said, way cheaper. So winding things down here. Got this two and a half inch Super Mario Mansion playset, which I think is kind of cool. If you're into Mario, I think it's neat that for 35 bucks you're getting this whole diorama. With all the opening doors and stuff. They have a lot of different figures in this scale. So you can do a lot of different things with it. It's kind of cool. Um, I, you know, and they have a couple other ones as well, as you can see down here. So again, if you're a fan of the games, or you have kids that are a fan of the games, or a friend, <coughs> for the price, you really can't beat it. And it is it, kind of a playset, So can't beat it. Now, if you wanted to be have a lot of fun with this, so you have a two and a half inch, you know, scaled playset, then you turn around and buy this six inch Donkey Kong to destroy the fucking thing. How cool would that be in terms of display? Personally, as a kaiju fan, I'm all over it. I'm all over it myself. All over it. 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 So Giraffe doesn't like Mario getting the Luigi's turf. That's fair. Fart powered chair. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Johnny says Funko small, run and snippy are still around and reaction line fairly decent. I guess fair. That's fair. Okay. So uh, I'm going to unbox this thing that Ted sent me and then we'll talk for a bit. It's Samario. It is.
So I already cut this, but I haven't opened it open. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Ha ha. Cool. I'm going to set those aside for a second. All right. So Ted was in Houston on Bidnit, and he went to a Walmart, and he happened to find me a Superpowers Wonder Woman. Thank you, brother, man. I really appreciate this. And seeing her in person, man, God damn, she looks good. Look at that sculpt. That is a great sculpt. Paint deco is nice. The cape is shit, of course. The cape is shit. But we'll be getting a replacement there from Michael, uh, the cape master, as soon as possible. And on the back of this, uh, which, of course, they've ruined with a sticker. I'm going to have to get off. Um, bro. You've got your cross cell, so it shows Superman, Darkseid, Batman, Green Lantern, Flash, uh, the Batman who shall not be named, Wonder Woman, Nightwing, and Deathstroke, plus the two vehicles that are already out so far. So it's very reminiscent of the old stuff. This is why I'm getting this. Um, no, Bill, that is a friend of mine named Boogie taking a jail photo on my shirt because he actually went to jail a couple years ago. And decided to capitalize on it and make some money, which I don't blame him for one bit. Now, Ted also sent some nice pens from his work, and I believe these light up. Let me see if I can get this open here. Um, Boogie is around 5'9". I think it, it's fine compression at this point. Um but I've stood next to him a few times. He's, he doesn't tower over me. We're usually right around here. Um, and I bought this directly from him at Retropalooza last year. He should have given me one. No, I'm kidding. He needs. You know, we all need the money, right? So, yeah, yeah, it does light up. Look at that. Now follow the light with your eyes. Good. These are kick-ass pens, dude. Thank you, man. I like that. I like that a lot. Appreciate that. Ooh, they make good drumsticks, too. Oh, yeah, and you can just, like, switch. That's pretty cool. Karen Ball says, When I was a kid, what we didn't have no damn cape. You can take the cape off, you know. Like, you can do that. <laughs> yes, Ozzy, you're a big boy. We all know you're a big boy. Who's a, who's a big boy? Ozzy is just you are. Yes, yes, you are. Yes, you are. All right. So I'm going to have to put these aside. I'll, get, I'll give Lauren one of these. I'll let her pick her, her favorite color out of the other two. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. I always like the, the swag from his work. It's, it's, it's very uh, sturdy. It's very uh, punctual. Bill says, when I was a kid, she did sometimes wear one on the live action TV show. Aha! I knew someone would bring that up. Mm. Notice your medicine is actually the nightstand. Well, it's, it's there by design. <laughs> because instead of toys, that's what I've been up to. So, And I am currently 10 minutes away from my next doses of medicine. So... You'll get to see me take medicine on the stream. Uh, if you saw the original pilot starring Kathy Lee Crosby, you'd cry. Yeah. yeah Kathy Lee Crosby, I'm like, no, no, thanks. Um, yeah. Karen Ball wants a Linda Carter Wonder Woman action figure in her rubber swimsuit. I bet you do. He's the last one on the cape. I agree. <coughs> Why she doesn't let's say she's pictured with the lasso. On the card back, but they gave her a cape. I, I, they're dumb. I have a couple extra lassos flying around. Fair enough, Badger. Fair enough. I get you with that with the with the Justice League thing. Wonder Woman. Yeah, every time I see Linda Carter, I just go Wonder Woman. I just say it. I just do it. I can't help it. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know why my head's doing that, but it is. Yeah, I'll get you with Kathleen Crosby. 
<sighs> I did say Kate Master twice, as a matter of fact. You need to shut the fuck up, sir. I'm kidding. Or it would have been cool if McFarlane made a figure look like Linda Carter. That would have been cool. Um, but I will say that this is like a nice blend of Gal Gadot, the comic book design, and a little bit of Linda Carter in there. I think it's somewhere right smack in the middle between all three. It's a nice, it's a nice version. No, no question about it. <coughs> I'm glad to have it. Ah. I'll have to fill up with water here in a second. I've been drinking crazy amounts of water. I'm down to about a gallon of a five gallon jug. I've been drinking lots of water. Wowda. Kate Mustard. That is an odd topping name. How you doing, the Volts? How you doing? <sighs> My Patreon has many exclusives. Watching me take medicine rectally is not one of them. That's a requirement. No, I'm just kidding. I do not do that. In fact, I've never taken medicine anally now that I think about it. Like, legit, I've never done it. I've had my prostate exam a couple times, you know, supposed to do that, right? But uh, that's it. That's all the play that my bumhole has ever gotten. Just not a fan. Try to stay away from my bungholio, all right? <laughs> uh, Bill says, do I want to last if one woman hook you up? Uh, yeah, actually. Uh, I think I have an extra one, but I don't think I do. Like, I think I do, but I'm not certain. So if you got one, I'm in. I'm in like Flint. Um, matter of fact, um, Cape Master, like, remember back when you had him on the show? I ordered a custom Doctor Strange cape. I still haven't got it yet. I feel like a jerk to keep asking him, but I haven't gotten it yet. So, but it happens. It happens. Well, Cool Club and Patreon are two different things, Wilhelm. They're two different things. So give me a second here. I'll be right back. I'm going to get my water refilled, and I'll take my medicine as well. So, so just, oh, stop. Stop saying coof. It's uncoof. Right back. Funny you should mention or ask what time the Largo stream is. They have it scheduled for a quarter to seven, uh, an hour from now, but they've agreed to go on as soon as this show is over. So guess what? You need to go over to Largo Slayer and subscribe to watch this, uh, shall we say, culmination of talent, this collaboration between Jim Largo and our very own Wilhelm. 
toy and hobby. So I'm gonna take this medicine. I'm gonna take questions until six o'clock, so eleven minutes, and we're gonna switch over to their show. So, eh, 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 ten minutes before Largo and Wilhelm go live. So, and there's the link right there. There you go. There you go. Starts in ten minutes. God damn it. <laughs> Hate to break it to you. I was told y'all was going to go live right after. So I'm going to take some medicine. And I'll be talking to you, taking some questions for a few minutes. Because I am starting to... Uh, 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 cheers. Mm. Ah, where did I put the cap? There we go. <sighs> I've gone through a bottle and a half of this stuff in a few days. I just got two more bottles of it plus the nighttime stuff. My dad always said, you don't stop taking medicine when you start to feel better. So I'm going to try really hard to um, take medicine for longer. So if I'm feeling great, I'll take medicine for one more day. That's what I'm doing. <sighs> so we go. It better not come with medicine stuck up his butt. No. No, 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 no. No. No, Melbourne. No, no, no. Mm. Mm -mm. All right. Will says they're all set to go. Perfect. So... We can talk about anything we want to for the next few minutes. Then we'll switch over to their stream and enjoy. Master Versus Toy Hunters here. Good evening to you as well. They're in Eternals. You want to take prescribed medicine until it's gone? Yes, I have heard that as well. Taking prescribed medicine until it's gone. I seldom do that, but it's a whole thing. Badger created a Google photo album showing Marvel Legends has on a Delta Trooper body. Great way to see some custom ideas share on Instagram soon. Can't wait to see that, sir. It looks like a great idea. So, for those of you who don't know, Action Force Series 3 is coming in like crazy right now. Big Bad's got him in. My pile, my pile of loot. I, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to get the core figures in female, I think. What are the big boxes behind me? Um... At the bottom, there's a big old Giganotosaurus. Behind that, so in front here, are two Soda Stream Return boxes. But behind that is a Nintendo 64, a Serpentor, and a... Crap. A Serpentor and a Sergeant Slaughter from Classified. Big bad box that Salzburg sent with some... Um, The hell are those called? God damn, every time with that fucking toy line. Mythic Legions. Mythic Legion figures in there. Um, and then there's a Nintendo 64, a bunch of controllers, my hardcover Godzilla history, and then my Mecha Neck and Ground Ripper, Snake Armor He Man, uh, Marvel Legends Jigsaw. And a plushy Godzilla that Largo got me for my birthday. That's everything that's in those boxes. Okay? There you go. Live soda stream. No. No, I didn't do that today. Uh, t trash. It's not trash, goddammit. Pull all that coof out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim's Fembot comes up. No. He has the alarm that goes off to tell me to take more medication. So I'm just going to start that timer again. <laughs> start that timer again. Do, 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 do. Um, did I see a three-pack of dinos and Ellie Settler figure? No, I did not. What scale is it in? That's the only question I got. If it's a three-pack and six-inch scale, I'm all over it. If it's a three-pack and three and three-quarter inch, I don't give a shit. Um... ZST Dan House and Retro Supposed Lilies coming tomorrow. Place to be on Wow. 
14 months ago. That sounds like Mezco stuff right there. Whew, crazy, 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 crazy. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. No versus Mythic Legions right up my alley. It's always a bit pricey for you to jump in. Looks fantastic. It is. It is quite fantastic. Magic confirms the three pack a 3.75 inch scale. Depending upon which dinos are in there, I might be tempted. I'd be tempted. Warm and cover says any question. Temperature 78 degrees. What the expansion length of a steel suspension bridge cable after three hours of exposure? Uh, the answer is depend upon how much the engineer had to drink when they were designing it. That's what the answer is to that one. It's been a rough way. I don't, I don't doubt it, man. Picked up Mr. Arnold today, saw the Ellie pack. Okay. Uh, well, this is well, what this what this here is is just Dayquil, generic Dayquil. Coats the old throat. It's cough depressant, sore throat thing, right? So <coughs> also an expectora. <coughs> so so ah. Sorry, guys. Makes the phlegm come out, too. So, coats the throat to protect it. Gets rid of all the crap to stop protecting it. So, woo-hoo-hoo. Yeah! Hey. <clears throat> I can almost do death vowel vowels. Okay, yeah, I think it's time to pull the plug, guys. I'm starting to get loopy. So, in any case, <sighs> I'm out of here. So, you guys go over to... The Jim and Largo show. Jim and Largo show? Yeah, it's definitely time for me to go home. So here we go. Go to that show. Go to that show. We'll see you guys next week. I love you. Cheers.